for this effect, I would start off by showing the participant that we're not going to be using the full deck for this effect. We are only going to be using a small packet of cards. Now this card here is my prediction, and it's also going to act as a marker card because it's a different color than the rest. So I'm going to leave that card right there. Now I can show the participant all of the cards are different, mixed up, and shuffled. What we're going to do is place the marker card face down on top. The packet can be cut anywhere, and then we can complete the cut. And we can do this as much as the participant would like. Let's say they're good there. What we're going to do now with this packet is deal two piles just like this going back and forth. And we are going to be using the pile that has the marker card. In this case, this pile. So let's say we go through again. We will get rid of this pile and use this one. That should take one more deal. And you can see that there is one card with the marker card. Now if we take a look at all of the cards you could have stopped on, you can see all the different choices. My prediction at the beginning, the Jack of Diamonds, the card you stopped on, the Jack of Diamonds, and that is the effect. Before we get into the tutorial, the cards I am using, first of all, uh, this a card right here. This card comes from the Bicycle Blue, uh, or the Blue Bicycle, actually, Victor's back. I do have a deck review on these. This packet of cards right here comes from the Red Bicycle Victor's back, so it's like a series. I have a deck review on both of these. That will be linked in the description, along with a video of cards you can buy like this. So, the same deck, just a different color. Either you can buy them separately, or you can buy them together. <clears throat> that will be linked in the description. One more thing about this effect is this is an effect from Robert Ball Magician. If you don't know Robert, great guy. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. Please go and subscribe to him. I believe he mentioned if he gets 2,000 subscribers by September, he will be doing a giveaway. But regardless, please go and subscribe to him. This is actually where I learned this effect from. So I will leave his channel in the description. So for this effect, what you're going to need first of all are 15 cards. So once you have 15 cards, out of those 15, take out one card you want to have the participant end up on at the end. In this case, I chose the Jack of Diamonds. It can be any card. Now with this Jack, you want to place it 8th from the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now the next thing I had here was just the same card, different back. You don't need this. You can also do it like a soulmate effect. If you don't know what soulmates are, I will leave my video in the description. You could use a joker or really any other card with a different back. You could also do a blank card with a different back. Just go ahead and write, I know you will choose the jack of diamonds. Or if you only have one color, in this case red for the blank back cards, Get a double-sided blank back card, so the one side is blank, but the other side has your little message written on it. If you just have one deck, take out like a joker or a different card, just leave it face up on top of the deck. And then either your phone or a piece of paper, write, I know you will choose the Jack of Diamonds. Because if you have like a joker and then they land on the Jack of Diamonds, what is the effect? But if you show the piece of paper, you actually predicted it. I hope that makes sense, but that's really all you're going to do. 
So I leave that card face down on top, and I am all set. So one more time for my setup, I have that different colored card on top of the deck. I have 15 cards, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the 8th uh, position is that Force card, whether it's the same card or the Soulmate or whatever. And that is your setup. Quite simple, actually. So what you're going to want to do is, first of all, I start off by explaining that this is my prediction and a marker card, which we will get to at the end. Now, if you want to, you don't even have to call attention to this card, but I think it's a little suspicious if you don't. Obviously, don't show the face, but you can talk about how it's a marker card because it's a different color than the rest, and it's even my prediction. Or you can leave that prediction part off until the very end. So it really is up to you. So you're going to have the card face down on top. You're going to have the cards cut and then completed. Now it doesn't matter how many times the cards are cut. As you saw in the performance, I cut them a few times. It still worked. Let me show you it with the cards cut once. You're going to start by dealing two piles. Now, if you deal from left, right, when you deal the second time, you want to go left, right. You don't want to go right, left. That's going to mess everything up. <clears throat> so let me show you what I mean here. So we're going from left, right, left, right. And you explain the pile with the helper card we're actually going to use. So the rest of these go away. I pick up these, and then I deal again left to right. I put these cards away. Then I pick these up and I go left, right. You do this three times, you're left with one card. I like to show that all of the cards are different. Now you don't have to do this, but I think it actually shows that there's no jack of diamonds. Now at the beginning, like the performance you saw, I actually did show they're all different. <clears throat> you can do it there too. You can also uh, show they're different than two. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which card you reveal first. I like to reveal the prediction is the Jack of Diamonds, and then the card we landed on is the Match Jack of Diamonds, and that is the effect. So I hope you really enjoyed this effect. Now there are a couple of ways you can go about this effect. So, in, a, in the future, I will be uploading two, two more ways you can go about this effect. It's going to be once a week. This is recorded and uploaded on a Friday. So, that means the next Friday, I will show you the next way you can do this. Then the Friday after that, I will show you the very last way you can do it. And then if I think of any more ways to do it, before that last Friday, and then the Friday after, I will show you that way, and it will keep repeating until I can't think of any more ways. But I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye!